In this video, I would like to introduce you a very simple technique for getting rid of the excess dampness, coldness, and toxin from your body and help you to clean out the blockages from your meridians too. In the old days, the Taoist hermits, they like to live in the caves. As you know, many caves are already damp. So if the person stay in the cave for a long period of time, um, the dampness will start to accumulate in the body. And then the person will start to feel tired, weak, and some sickness will even start to surface, like uh, rheumatism, uh, poor digestion, something like that. So they must do something to restore their health. And then they invented a technique called Diao Sa. Diao Sa is very similar to the common uh, Chinese medical practice, Hua Sa, scrapping. And also it has the same result as cupping, um, which is called Ba Guan. They are very effective at getting rid of the excess dampness, coldness, and toxin from your body. Uh, but in scrapping and cupping, you need someone to do it for you. Uh, but in Diao Sa, like, you can do it by yourself, and you don't even need any tools. So it is completely free. The only price you have to pay is doing a procedure of the Diao Sa. It could be really painful. You first start by doing some warm up, especially warm up to your arms and shoulders, like stretching. Um, because doing the Diao Sa, you're going to repeat the same motion for a few minutes. So it could be tiring for some people. Okay, so what you do is very simple. Um, you just hit your inner elbow. You keep hitting your inner elbow for three to five minutes. Like this. Make sure you are really hitting. You're not tapping. When you can feel the pain, that means you're doing it right. Okay, so after three to five minutes, um, if you only see your hands, the area that you're hitting turn into light red color, that means you're very healthy. Um, but if you see some red color dots coming out, like uh, what I have here, it is also a good sign. It is a sign that um, the excess dampness, coldness, and toxin is coming out from your body. And if you see some bruises, um, on your inner elbow. That means there are some blockages on the meridians. If the bruises are concentrated on the outside of your inner elbow, that means the blockages are more uh, of your lung meridian. If you see the bruises are more on the center on your inner elbow, that means the blockages are more on your pericardium meridian. If the bruises are more concentrated on the inside of your inner elbow, that means the blockages are on your heart meridian. If the bruises are completely gone within three days, that means the blockages are very minor. Um, but if the bruises stay there for more than 10 days, 
it means the blockages are quite severe. But don't worry, you just keep repeat the same procedure when the bruises are completely gone. So when you see the bruises are completely gone, you repeat the Delsa procedure again. And then usually for the second time, you will find that you have less bruises and the bruises also will be gone much faster than the first time and usually the bruises are in dark blue color and then it will change so you just keep um, repeating the delta procedure until after you hit it no more bruises coming out and then you only need to do the delta procedure once a month or even less to maintain your health so you should do it on both arms and you can also do it on the back of your shoulders so just do something similar hit the back of your shoulders for three to five minutes and also the back side of your knees Of course you can do it sitting on a chair and also both sides of your knees again each part we keep hitting for three to five minutes just like before after you hit it if you only see um, you turn into light red color or some red dot come out it means you are quite healthy if you see the bruises coming out then you just keep uh, repeat the same delta procedure when the bruises are completely gone oh, one thing to remember is um, it is better to do the delta after you take a bath or shower because after this procedure, you should avoid um, this area where you hit to contact with water. Wait for at least six hours. And when you go outside, make sure you cover the area that you hit um, so that it won't expose to the wind and cold from outside. I've been trying to get my mother to practice Qigong every day but without much success but when I teach her this she said oh there's some things she can do she can do this when she's uh, watching TV after the first time she did this instantly she feel a lot of relief on her neck and shoulder and since that night, she didn't have to wear the fake socks to sleep anymore. Her feet used to be very cold and sometimes they were so cold that she couldn't fall asleep. In the set for Subasu workshop, I will teach many simple and easy to do techniques just like the delta for treating different sickness and to improve the health. I hope you all try this delta to see the benefits for yourself and then share with others.